He can't afford to go to France, but he can make their hot cocoa. But is it worth the extra few steps? Today, we'll find out. It's Keith Makes French Hot Cocoa, today on Wrangle's Angle. With it getting colder outside, my fall winter time go-to has always been Mexican hot chocolate. I drink Swiss Miss too, but for me, there's always been something very comforting about the taste of hot chocolate done the south of the borderway. But after doing some research, I just found out that if I'm only drinking two different types of hot chocolate, I'm missing out. But luckily, I found a recipe for a type of hot chocolate that's not from Mexico, that's not from the US, or wherever Swiss Miss claims to be from, but a recipe for hot chocolate that replicates the elegance and sophisticatedness of hot chocolate in France. I mean, France. To make French hot chocolate, you'll need the following. A half cup of heavy cream, two teaspoons of sugar, a half teaspoon of espresso powder, then eight ounces of 70% dark chocolate, not the baking one. Don't think too hard about it. And finally, some whipped cream to top. First, throw your milk and cream in a pot, then heat it on medium. Then add your sugar and espresso powder. Oh, Keith, turn on my camera. Keith! Then stir it up until tiny bubbles start to form. But remember, we're not trying to boil it. Then throw in your eight ounces of dark chocolate, crushed into very tiny pieces into the pot. Then stir until it's all melted, thick chocolatey goodness. Remember, no boiling. So don't forget to put your burner on low. And there you go, hot chocolate done the French way. Oh wait, there you go. Now, if Keith doesn't come in a black beret and a sweatshirt, then what the hell are we doing? Alrighty then, let me just make sure it's recording, yes. Alrighty then, take three or four. I know I should be wearing a sweatshirt right now, or at least a turtleneck, but it's hot enough in here already. Alright, so this is French hot chocolate. Obviously takes a few more uh, steps than making, uh, say, Swiss Miss. Okay, very good. So we got the whipped cream on here, and if this is one serving, then I don't know, it seems like I'm gonna be drinking a lot of chocolate right now. I guess I could always start my diet next year, right? Oh, by the way, this is a very good recipe to do when you're suffering from seasonal depression, because just in case you're wondering how I did crush the chocolate to throw in the pot. Ah! There you go. All right, my parents are waiting for me to finish this, so let me just have some of the whipped cream. <laughs> Just that part is five stars, right? All right, so French hot chocolate. Here we go. Ooh, let me do that again. What is the sound effect I'm supposed to use for drinking beverages? Oh, let me get a paper towel. I don't know if you can hear the TV. Uh, they're playing the Michelle Kwan episode of uh, Arthur right now. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. That's actually really good. I can taste that little bit of espresso, just as much the dark chocolate that it takes to make these. I want to point out that I'm not used to ever having dark chocolate as a hot cocoa sort of thing. I usually always prefer milk chocolate, but this is not bad. This is really not bad. It's nice and fancy, and I could definitely imagine this as an option for any time it gets cold out. At the end of the day, it didn't take that many more steps than making a regular Mexican Mexican hot chocolate. Where did I put the whipped cream? Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Like I said, there's a lot of chocolate if, if if I'm following the directions just right. This is just the type of uh, drink you want to drink uh, if you're sitting in Paris. You know, you can see the Eiffel Tower. You're with a beautiful woman, or maybe you want to be with a guy. That's fine too. And the stars are out. Uh, one of these days we'll do Keith Goes to France. Mark my words, guys. But but in the meantime, it's, uh, well, we're still in Illinois right now. <laughs> but I don't feel depressed about it. If you do feel depressed about being where you are, go ahead and make this recipe. You can do this. Ah! <laughs> kind of a little Keith Goes to the Rage Room right here. I guess in that case, you could also go like this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let Keith enjoy his French hot cocoa, but let's take a look at those results. Honestly, I found French hot cocoa to be delicious. That's right, it had a really bold flavor, and the little bit of espresso we added only made it better. And honestly, it wasn't difficult to make at all. If I have to say anything negative about it, it's gonna have to be that it was a lot of chocolate to drink by myself. But hey, I was able to fill my mug and a little bit more, so hey, maybe I'm the one doing something wrong. But all in all, I say it was a good hot cocoa for the fall or winter. If you're looking for something with a little bit more of a dark chocolate taste, I definitely recommend French hot cocoa, and that is the Wrangles Angle on that one. Ah, uh, French hot cocoa. Something so good, I'm sure all you weirdos can dip your french fries in it. But that's interesting because a lot of people do dispute where french fries were invented. Some people think they're French, some people think they're from Belgium, some people even think they were invented in Spain. But all I know is, 
What the hell do you think this is? A history show? And that is the Wrangles Angle on that one. But don't forget, we got more videos for you to watch on YouTube and Facebook. Remember, either way, it's .com slash Wrangles Angle. And when you're there, don't forget to hit subscribe, because we got more videos for you on the way, including food videos, including an interview with the creator of the 90s Nickelodeon and Disney show, Doug, Jim Jenkins. So stay tuned for that one. And don't forget, we finally got Wrangles Angle t-shirts. That's right, Kofi.com slash Wrangles Angle is the only place to get official Wrangles Angle merchandise like the official Wrangles Angle t-shirt. And when you're there, don't forget that you can also leave me a cash donation because Wrangles Angle is free and I like it that way. But just remember that your purchases and donations help me to make more of the content you love. So consider leaving me a one-time or monthly donation today. And yes, monthly donations can be canceled at any time. It's all waiting for you at ko-fi.com slash Wrangles Angle. That's ko-fi.com slash Wrangles Angle. And we got new designs for t-shirts coming soon in 2024. So stay tuned for that. But before we go, before you watch more of my videos, you know with French hot cocoa being so good, I'd like to think that Keith Goes to France could happen at some point. I mean, but remember, this is a low budget show, so that's why we have merch. But until then, here's me starring in an experimental French New Way film in black and white in French. Yeah, really. We'll see you next time, folks. Take it easy. Monta la foot through. Qualify.